replacing the, the flasher on a 2005 Cadillac Escalade. And this will probably be the same for a Suburban or a Tahoe. Uh, the trim is the same, so it should be the exact same. Just, uh, you know, you'll see Cadillac instead of Chevy or GMC or whatever. Um, basically, bottom line, the uh, replacing uh, tail lights uh, a week or so ago, it's not I was going to be smart and put LEDs back there, try to be bright. I've got tinted windows, wanted brighter backup bulbs. Decided to go LED the whole way. And now my flashers uh, blink fast. And uh, I'll show you. Both of them. So, um, basically you need a replacement flasher that is compatible with uh, LEDs. They've got several brands. Uh, I got the cheapest. Um, figured if it doesn't work out, I'll just buy a better brand next time. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, first thing, be good to do before you get started, uh, to get this trim off. Uh, it'd be good to first have you a trim removal tool, something like this. Something that's uh, hard yet soft plastic that you can get in behind. And second, because of the way this is, be good to go ahead and put your gear shift all the way down. Engage your parking brake and put the steering wheel all the way down. because uh, okay, I won't return. Um, you've got to have these out of the way so you can get this trim off right here. It, it, uh, it hits. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take trim tool. and see it come see how easy that is So it's off now. So now the next thing is got uh, two screws. Seven millimeter. No, oh, I got my trusty magnetic holder. said when I played football I'm a right horn bull
All right. Firm, firmly yet carefully pull that off. Now, there's the flasher relay right there. All right, so let me pause, get my stuff together, and I'll come right back. All right, so I spent five minutes looking for a flasher that I forgot I moved to show you in the video. So we're going to replace that. It's going to take a little bit of wiggling to get it out. It's been a while since I've done one. Did one about 10 years ago in a similar vehicle. So should be just a little bit of wiggling and go from there. I'll try to one hit this. Before we get it in there, it should go in like this. Yeah, that's exactly as I remember, a pain in the neck. All right, so I'm gonna try to get both hands in there. Be right back. I thought I remember there being in easier way and this was it unplug you got this wiring harness right here unplug it push that little tab pull it out and then you can get your plastic tool that you use to get the dash off up under there and begin your little prime so see if I can do that with you know what I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go to my Big flag head. One minute. The key here is always gentle. You don't want to overdo it. Uh, of course, I wouldn't plan on reusing this because when you take it out that way, you bend the pins. This is the bad part about having fat hands. All right. There you go. Original GM flasher, but not compatible with LEDs. So, you go in like this. Take your time. Don't want to rush it. Make sure it's seated. It's got a little harness right there. It's only going to go in one way. All right, and when you get that, you can. It's in there. It matches. like me and forget to plug in something let's just plug in all right let's see it's 
little faster than what it was before, but a little faster than what I mean before I changed the LEDs, but not as fast as it was. Place those headlights on. Right. Go to the other side. Let's do the flashers. We are good. So now we can put the bottom panel back on and see how much I can do this with one hand. Push now. Replacing these two. Yeah. Now replacing these two seven millimeters on the bottom. Try to get them in there in a couple turns. That way you're not you're not gonna get them very far anyway. But at least so they don't fall. are on plastic don't over tighten them you will crack the plastic that's something I, I consider a specialty of mine in my head if I can turn it it's not tight enough and that's not the case with plastic Gear shift all the way back down. All right, this I'm gonna need two hands for. This would also be helpful if you're looking to replace your factory unit, which I'm going to do at some point. This would be also how you would do it. Unbolt these slides out. Easy peasy. All right. That's for another video. All right, I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna need both my hands to do this. I'll be right back. All right, we're back on. And as seems to be the case every time I do one of these, I broke a couple clips. But basically the key is to start one or two, preferably two, and then slowly feel your way across. So now I got it done. Put that up. 
release the parking brake, put the steering wheel back up. Not that high, but somewhere. And that's it. That was replacing the flashers on a 2005. This should be the same 2005 Cadillac Escalade. This should be the same for a like a 2002 to 2006 Escalade and probably the comparable models of uh, Chevy Tahoe, Suburban, um, GMC, was it Envoy? I forgot what they are now. I don't remember. Whatever the, the comparable, GMC Denali, that's it. Whatever the comparable uh, year models are. Um, but a little bit of time and uh, 30, I think it was a $30 part and save you a lot of time as far as taking it to a dealer and save you a ton of money from having taken it to somebody and having them do it because they're gonna charge you for taking half a dash off even though it wasn't that hard of a deal. So once again, this is Nikeology signing off. We'll see you next time. All right, just as a little small add-on, once you see the truck's running, don't worry about my check engine light. That's an EVAP leak and at some point, I'll fix it and make a video on it, but it ain't worth the time right now. Um, truck's running. Let's see one more time that you can see that it's doing its thing. Alright, so there we go. Nakology out.